Okay, so uh, this is going to be a preview of what I'd like to do this week for Chem 110. Um, I consider this material that we're covering right now probably the most intense and most important stuff that you will learn from this class because uh, we will use it for more than two-thirds of the class. Uh, you just have to be able to do names and formulas. You have to be really good at it. If this was uh, in class, I'd, I'd be able to monitor to you a lot better. Uh, but um, since it's online, it's hard, hard to monitor. Uh, so what we have to do is we have to do some kind of quick, short assessments. Uh, there's hardly going to be really any lessons this week. I will put out another PowerPoint. Um, on Tuesday, which we start covering the material for the next material, um, and uh, but this week is this going to be you practicing and showing that you're uh, how you're progressing with this material. So what I'm going to do is go over what we're going to what I plan on doing this week. Uh, I don't know if there'll be any changes, but we'll see how that goes. So uh, so this week is uh, June eighth the 14th uh, and it's really gonna be focused on formulas and name uh, there's two PowerPoints one was related to covalent and another one to ionics I right now it looks like I'm planning on doing eight quizzes and you'll see uh, they'll be worth 10 to 15 points that means there will be about 10 to 15 questions each multiple choice true false short answers Towards the uh, beginning of the week, probably more multiple choice. Towards the end of the week, more um, uh, short answers. Uh, and it just, it, you just, these are just going to communicate, communicate, communicate. Ah, too many syllables. All right. Um, I'm hoping that I'll get all these quizzes out by Tuesday at the latest. Even though they aren't going to be due until uh, the end of the week, uh, they're available to you do. Now, one thing that I, that I really want to make sure you guys understand is when you take these tests or quizzes, etc., for the rest of the semester, unless I tell you, assume that you will be using no notes and no other resources, internet or whatever, okay? You just have to go from what's on your brain. Um, that's, and that's how I would do it in class. So you just have to do, you have to study. Um, it's like if you're a musician, you have to study your scales. You just got to do them over and over uh, until they become second nature. That's what you, what you, what you have to do here. And there's opportunities to, to practice these, okay? So, um, all right, so, yes. So let's go over on what, what's going to happen on Monday. Okay, on Monday, uh, what, it's, what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to give you the very first quiz is going to be one that's, I'm going to give you a list of maybe 10 or 15 substances, uh, compounds, and you're going to have to tell me if they're ionic or covalent. And the way you tell is that ionic has to have a metal in it, and uh, covalent will not have metal, metals in it. And so what you do is you just scan through those, uh, 10 or 15 and check if they have metals and non-metals and I tell how to do that in the videos um, they the metals are on the left hand side of the table and really I told you that that's only in the first two columns and there's six others that you have to know uh, then the covalents are over on the right hand side of the table of that staircase uh, so if you look at a substance and it has a metal either you could tell by name or by the chemical symbol and you have an ionic compound. That'll be your first test. And the due date for that will be uh, the following day. Okay. Uh, quiz number two will also be put on Monday, and it's going to be on covalent molecules. Now, uh, covalent molecules was a PowerPoint, and also I told you is, is that there is a Quizlet, which allows you to do flashcards for those. Okay. Uh, the alkanes, the acids, the polyatomics, um, and the commons. Okay, uh, the, right now we're going to leave off the binary uh, uh, 
covalence for now. But I'll give you probably two false covalent for this first covalent test is, is I'll give you a list of 10 or 15. You have to either get, if I give you a formula, you have to figure out like, the name. And given the name, you have to figure out the formula, all right? Uh, the best place to study is Quizlet. Just, just click through them. In fact, that's probably where I'm going to get their tests, okay? I, again, um, so, so just practice there. Practice them before you take take the quiz, and the details of the both these quiz will be given to you on the announcements. Okay, Tuesday, uh, set there will be another test uh, quiz that you be assigned to, uh, and again it'll be covalence. Okay, so uh, what this is is this uh, we just want to make sure you're studying, and this may be a little bit harder. Maybe there'll be actually some. Uh, uh, short answers here okay so so you won't just do true true or false you have to tell me the name or the formula uh, instead of just clicking on something uh, also I'm hoping that I can get out the PowerPoint for subject number two and um, which will deal with test really the material for test number two uh, or I call it subject no, number two because uh, we've had a lot of a lot of kind of small tests here, but um, then it'll have to do with chemical reactions because I want to get going on that and give you some heads up, start thinking about it, and see how it's useful. And I may have a short quiz on this PowerPoint uh, by the end of the week just to see if you uh, have taken a look at it. All right, on Wednesday there will be another quiz available to you. Um, and again, it'll be covalence, and it'll probably be more be more short a answer. But it also, there is going to be a quiz for bionic, ion, uh, binary ionics, uh, and um, these will be short answers. Okay, so uh, if I give you the formula, I'm on these. What I might do is just give you mostly formula, and you have to come up with names. But there might be a couple of the other way around. Okay. Um, Right, so on Thursday, uh, so again, you're going to have your last covalent uh, the quiz, and it'll probably be all short answer. Uh, you'll also have a quiz with bionic, ionic, binary ionic, and tertiary ionic, both names, so form and form the names. And then on Friday, quiz number eight just on ionic compounds, combining these to binary and tertiary. Okay, um, so by the end of this week, you've had a battery of quizzes, uh, practices. Hopefully, you'll ask me questions if you're, uh, if you're not getting the material. The toughest part will be the binary ionic and tertiary ionic, okay? So uh, you're going to have to... Make sure you go over that PowerPoint, and I'll give you in a second. I'll go over how to help study that. Then hopefully next week, not hopefully, but yes, next week, uh, we're going to do the end tests for this material. Um, we're done with the definitions. Okay, you guys already did that last week, and uh, it looks like you did well. Um, and I gave you a list of the ones that really are important to me on that last quiz um so next on uh, next week you'll be given two tests both of them on ionic covalent and um it's just an opportunity to get do this test right uh you can and, um you can take you could take you decide if you want to take the second one um, but the best score, uh, best score. So if you take two of them, I'll take your best score. Uh, so you have an opportunity, uh, you know, if you score, you know, like a 90 on the first one and 60 on the second one, you'll, I'll, I'll give you your, <clears throat> uh, well, with, yeah, I guess I'll give you the first score. Okay. A 90. All right. Uh, but hopefully it won't drop that much if you do decide to take it twice. And finally, it's just really some helpful what you need to do to really practice ionics. Uh, first of all, you got to know what they are. They're metal and non-metal. 
Um, and this PowerPoint, which is both of these, which is on YouTube, um, is called Two Intro to in uh, Chemistry Ionic. It goes how to nail over name and, and coming up with formula. Okay, so make sure you go over that. And then there's a program uh, that I wrote and uh, I put a YouTube visit video called um, Formula Naming Program Example. Um, I gave a link to that already. And it shows you how to practice doing names of formula and formula to names using for ionic compounds and actually anything. So, and more specifically, if you want to really practice your ionic, binary ionics, names of formulas, it starts at uh, 8.56 on this video right here. Um, if you want to make sure that you get any chemical formulas to, to names, um, then it starts right here. An ionic, a tertiary ionics, uh, names formula start at 1040 and formulas to names is uh, starts at four minutes and eight seconds okay the biggest thing here is is that you just have to be able to first of all decide if you if you see a substance name or form you have to decide if it's ionic or covalent okay once it's if you decide it's ionic because it has a metal in it if it has two elements in it then it's binary if it has three it's tertiary and if it's tertiary it has a metal and a polyatomic Okay, uh, the binaries end in ide, if, if you have a name like sodium carbonide or whatever, carbide, and uh, um, the uh, tertiaries will end in eight, except if you have hydroxide. So if you see magnesium, if you hear magnesium phosphate, you know it's uh, uh, tertiary. Uh, I told you on the slides is that on, you really make sure you understand polyatomics because we use them in tertiary acids and tertiary ionics. Okay, so there you go for what's planned for the week and hopefully uh, we'll get through this because this is really, really important. Uh, we can't do uh, chemical reactions unless you know this material reasonably well.